Rweave is a decentralized data storage protocol that is built through Blockweave technology. Unlike traditional blockchain networks, where a chain of blocks contain all the data and transactions, a Blockweave network is a bit different. In the case of Rweave, it stores its data in a graph of blocks, and each block is connected to two earlier blocks, thus forming a structure known as Blockweave. Rweave is in direct competition with the likes of Filecoin and Sia, both of which also provide decentralized data storage options. Furthermore, the real competition is with the centralized industry giants, such as Google and Dropbox. Contrary to just being a data storage protocol, Rweave aims to create the permaweb. It will be a version of the internet that is easy to access, hosts sites and apps cheaply, and forever retains its permanence. Permaweb is a layer that is built upon Rweave's global permanent hard drive, Another unique aspect of Rweave is that the data stored on it can easily be accessed through any browser, unlike traditional crypto-based projects, which require a specialized wallet or service. The project was first announced as Rchain in 2017 and later rebranded as Rweave in February 2018, and officially launched in June later that year. The founders of this project are Sam Williams and William Jones, both of whom were PhD candidates at the University of Kent. Sam Williams had extensive experience in distributed and decentralized systems and also developed an operating system known as Hydro OS. William Jones, on the other hand, is known for his work on graph theory and neural networking. The Rweave mainnet launched in June 2018 with 1,800 participants chosen from around the world. In November of 2019, several venture capital firms funded the project and almost $5 million was raised. Another $8.3 million was raised six months later. The project started with a very centralized leadership, however, a decentralized autonomous organization was launched in January 2020 which consists of core members of the community, and they can discuss and make decisions about the development of the network and its ecosystem. The basic purpose of Rweave is to connect those people who have spare space available on their hard disks with those who require data storage. It is designed to provide cost-effective, scalable, and most importantly permanent data storage. For this purpose to be achieved, it is built upon blockchain-like structure known as Blockweave. Like all typical blockchains, the collection of blocks in Rweave's Blockweave hold all the information regarding the websites or dApps on the platform. However, what makes Blockweave unique is that, unlike traditional blockchains in which each block is linked to the previous block in a linear fashion, the blocks in Blockweave are linked to the previous block and a second block from the network's history. The second block is known as the recall block. The recall block is essential in the functionality of the unique consensus mechanism of Rweave, known as proof of access. This consensus mechanism is a variation of the proof of work mechanism used in Bitcoin and Ethereum. The way it works is that there are users who provide their disk space to gain AR tokens and are known as miners. In order to mine and verify a new block on the network, the miners must provide cryptographic proof that they have access to that block's recall block. This is where proof of access comes into play, as the network intends to incentivize long-term data storage. As the miners have to access older and random blocks from the Blockweave's history in order to mine new blocks and gain rewards. Another incentive given to the miners is that the network encourages the miners to store the blocks that are not widely replicated. When a rare recall block is selected, then the competition between the miners becomes lower. This ultimately means that the miners who store rarer blocks earn more rewards in the long term. Another feature of Rweave is that it allows the miners the freedom to choose which type of blocks and transactions they will store. Each miner can establish their own unique content policy, which outlines the type of data that can and can't be stored by the miner. Therefore, when the data is being distributed by the network, it is first scanned against the individual content policy of each miner, and it will not be stored on a miner's space if it contains content that has been prohibited by the miner's content policy. The Rweave token, which is also known as AR, is the native cryptocurrency of the platform. In terms of utility, it has multiple uses in the network. However, generally speaking, it represents the transfer of monetary value across the platform. Users who wish to store their data on the platform can easily do so by paying the amount that Rweave predicts is necessary to host the data permanently. Similarly, those people who provide their excess storage space to the platform can also earn passive income which is also in the form of AR tokens. Rweave has come into a market in which there is cutthroat competition. The traditional data storage giants, like Google and Dropbox, lead the industry at this point in time, while on the other hand, whenever decentralized data storage is mentioned, the first name that comes to mind is Filecoin or Sia. 
Therefore, it is obvious that Arweave still has a long way to go if it means to compete with the industry giants. Another concern is whether they can actually deliver on what they've promised. Arweave promises storage that lasts forever, for a one-time cost. The effectiveness of such a model can only be judged after a few decades have passed, as there is no other such example, to say the least. The Arweave peer-to-peer P2P protocol matches participants with excessive storage spaces on their servers or hard drives with those looking to store data. Currently, you pay a one-time fee of about $34 to store one gigabyte of data on the R drive. In comparison, Amazon Cloud charges about two cents per month to store one gigabyte of data. So why would anyone bother using Arweave? The answer is that data storage on Arweave is permanent. A single fee upfront, payable in AR, gives miners on the Arweave network incentive to continuously replicate the stored content. Network fees are more like endowments. Because the cost of data storage decreases over time as technology advances, the interest earned from the initial payment is more than enough to pay for the operating costs of the Arweave ecosystem. There are already 300 decentralized applications or dApps built on the Arweave blockchain, and R-Drive is only one of them. There's Argo, which enables users to store websites as permanent archives, then there's Redstone, which provides decentralized finance data sets such as price feeds to more than 1,000 digital currencies in a manner similar to Yahoo Finance, but for crypto. Its service puts it in direct competition with Oracle coins such as Chainlink, and another notable highlight is Pianity, which enables artists to mint their soundtracks as non-fungible tokens and sell them on the Pianity marketplace. Now, you might be thinking, why does all of this matter? Arweave's potential total addressable market is huge. By 2025, market research firms estimate that the global data storage industry will grow to 137.3 billion at a rate of growth of 22.3% per year. Its exposure to NFTs is also a key catalyst for growth. In August, NFT trading volume on just one platform, OpenSea.io, surpassed $3.4 billion, representing a tenfold increase over the prior month. Finally, remember that smart contracts on most blockchains can't tap into real-world API, software that allows applications to talk to one another, like asset prices for their execution. So there's definitely the opportunity for Redstone to fill in that gap. It would greatly expand the functionality of smart contracts, of which $624.38 million worth are processed per day on dApps. Overall, even though Arweave is only in the early stages of its adaption, its $2 billion market cap doesn't seem that expensive. That's also considering that the Arweave project has multiple expansion routes and isn't simply a pure play data storage coin, like Filecoin. To sum it all up, Arweave is a new type of technology that uses a form of database to store data that cannot be deleted or changed, and uses economics to incentivize people to store the data for long periods of time for the first time ever. This combination makes either public or private data permanent. Arweave would describe itself as a novel data storage blockchain protocol, enabling a permanent internet and creating truly permanent data storage for the first time. It is a pay-once-forever storage model. The technology and design of Arweave and its system does not need to be intimidating to the average person. In fact, the more we understand it, the better we will see how innovative and useful it really is. More than anything, Arweave is trying to solve the problem of reliable, long-term data storage. There is nothing else like this on the market. It really is a new type of relationship to data. AR can be purchased on major crypto exchanges like Binance, similar to how one would buy any other cryptocurrency. You can either place a market buy or a limit buy. With a limit buy, you determine the price you're willing to pay, and your order gets filled once a token price reaches your set limit price. If you want to get your hands on the token quickly, you can place a market order where you agree to pay the current market price and have your order filled almost instantly. Overall, Arweave seems like a promising long-term investment. What are your thoughts on AR? Do you own any? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.